Hello, I'm Matt, Product Manager for NI Insights CM. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can define the data collection behaviors for your system. To do so, you'll need to navigate to the Assets page and then select a piece of equipment. Next, click on the Operating States tab. In Insights CM, an operating state is a collection of data collection behaviors. When you add a new piece of equipment, you'll always have the default operating state. This default operating state has properties associated with the amount of data you would like to store. In this case, we're collecting four seconds worth of data, where one second happens before a trigger that we'll define. Keep in mind that the NI monitoring devices are continuously acquiring and processing the data, but they are not continuously sending the data to the server. In order to generate a trigger to send data to the server, we need to define different conditions which will force this data collection. In Insight CM, you can either do time triggers or what we call a Delta EU trigger or a Delta Engineering Units trigger. Right now, I have a time trigger set for every hour, meaning on top of the hour, the current data, four seconds worth of data, will be collected and sent to the server to be stored. You can modify this by clicking on the edit icon. You can edit this periodic trigger by choosing however many minutes you want, however many hours, or even on specific times of the day. This time-based trigger is important for helping you to view the trend, the periodic trend of information over time. Now, if you want to collect data based on a Delta EU trigger, or a change in the values, I'll go ahead and click on the Delta EU button. In this trigger, you'll go ahead and need to select a feature. You'll notice that I have a variety of sensors which I have already added to this particular piece of equipment. We'll need to go ahead and select a, a trigger. In this case, I'll select the RMS for one of my accelerometers. This trigger will generate when that particular RMS feature has changed by at least the amount that I specify. This is important for being able to capture event-based information. So now, my device is going to gather the data and send it to the server at the top of every hour, or when my RMS value for this particular accelerometer has changed by at least 0.5 Gs. You'll notice that we also have a section called Trend Collection Conditions. With Insight CM, it is possible to send trend information over more often compared to data sets or waveform files. This information is individually configurable either on time triggers or as well as Delta EU triggers. We can also define a separate operating state if we want. An operating state of an asset might require different data collection behaviors. To set that up, I'll go ahead and click the Add button here, and it will prompt me to choose an operating state. This list is the default set that Insight CM ships with, but you can also add your own operating states to this list if you like. A common one that we might want to add is the off operating state. When our asset is off, there's a good chance that we will not want to send data. So make sure to scroll down, go to my dataset collection conditions section, and I'm going to delete this. This will mean that when our asset is off, we're not going to be sending waveform data to the server, which is not going to give us information of any value. As part of creating an operating state, we must also define an entry condition and an exit condition. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an entry condition here. And because this is an off operating state, an easy way for us to determine if an asset is off is to look at the speed. So go ahead and select the speed. And in this case, when the speed falls below, we'll say 50 RPMs, we will consider this asset to be off. Now you'll notice that there's this little red annotation here on top of the asset. This means that our asset is currently invalid, as we could see from this selection box. In order to determine why this asset is invalid, we'll go ahead and make sure it's selected, and then click on the validate button. 
This will run through the validation rules and presents us with a dialog that tells us that in the off operating state, an enter must have a corresponding exit trigger. So go ahead and close this. And we'll note here that I did not specify an exit condition. So we'll go ahead, we'll find that speed trigger. We'll change this so that when it is greater than 50, we'll say for 10 seconds, we'll go ahead and exit this operating state and return back to the default. As soon as I did this, note how the invalid annotation went away. Within each operating state, you can customize the data set collection conditions as well as if you'd like to collect data when you enter or exit that state.